fight at last. You're all going to die.
Jill! You came! Get back! Clive, how did you... I'll explain later. Hands. Can you walk? Out of here I can. Stand still! Phoenix. Are you not the dominant of fire? I see naught before me but a guttering flame. But to where? survive. This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation, and thus has my master turned to my blade. The world will soon be painted in black. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the Mother Crystals and restore balance to the world. Come. Do you truly think it's so simple? The blight is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is, but suffering. You must embrace. 
face the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. Keep it. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Ever led astray by your blind resolve. Now, it is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. However much it may hurt. Get as far away as you can. Clive, no. Trust me, Jill. <sighs> we don't have to do this. Oh, but we do. If only to remind you of your duty. In the short time since our last meeting, you have grown much. It's as a vessel, I fear my lord will still find you. All this fire and glory is for what? Stopping the blight. A foolish notion fed to you by a foolish man. How dare you? You know naught of this world or of our place in it. If our fates were so easily rewritten, we would all be gods. If reason cannot sway you, there are other means of persuasion and violence. Cast off your chains. Dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? What are the dominance? The breath of the Creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. We are more than that! You would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his, and yet every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us, it unmakes us, that its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The Icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. 
Apart from you, Mythos. You wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying is that we dominance are a means to an end. We were created for you, that you might drink deep of our strength and thereby fulfill your divine purpose. Which is? To feed. As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard. As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord, in his mercy, has taken pity on his flawed creations shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? Why, loyal servants to God? No. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are... divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. For too long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. It is time they return to a world of quiet equality, where they might once more know salvation. Salvation? And abandon everything we hold dear? We don't need your salvation. We'll save ourselves, and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours, and not your gods. With every defiant expression of your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps that fact may be put to use. <sighs> Clive! The faster it binds you to the remaining dominance, the stronger your hunger will become. Until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended, but back all the same. Ash is not far. I could freeze a path. You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. Don't look back! The others are safe. The Enterprise was clear of the gap when we fell. They made it, Jill. And they will have seen the ice where it led. We need only wait till dawn. This is the second time Barnabas has bested me. 
powerless against him. Then maybe there really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. Only you won't do that. The Clive I know would never do that. So you believe? But do you really know me? If what Barnum have said was true, then... I'm more monster than man. And each time I summon the flames from within, I burn away the things that make me who I am. Do you, though? Think of what you've used that power for. Of all the people you've saved. It doesn't matter how or by whom it was granted. Only how you choose to use it. And you've chosen to use it for good, haven't you? So used it to kill. What if that's my purpose? What if it's all I'm good for? You're still that same boy I grew up with. the one thing that needed saving most of all. You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. Myself. I think I might be beyond saving. No one is beyond saving, provided they want to be saved. You fight to survive. And you survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do. What you've always done. I know you're not about to change. So I'm going to help you. To give you what you need to protect us all.
my life to those I love. And I will gladly bear your burdens too. Until my last breath. Clive. I promise you, Jill. We will find a way to escape this fate. Find a way to save each other. That we might one day look upon the moon again, together. And I promise you, Clive, that I will be there, no matter what you must become. I know. I never thought a smile could bring me so much joy. What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides, there is something we must do first. Of course. Drake's spine. The last Mother Crystal. The Einherja is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on Storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait. Mid says Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale. But there's tall, and then there's tall. I struggle to believe it myself. I see your uncle isn't with you. 
He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherja, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sail for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still overrun with Akashic. Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up the hideaway. But I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's hope so. Joshua, assuming Tai will allow it. How are you feeling, Joshua? Better than I was. But not nearly as well as you should be. Your cuts and burns may have healed, but your body still bears the burden of every spell cast. Then what would you have had me do? It was no ordinary foe we faced. It was the Warden of Darkness. Yet still, it was not enough. The King could have ended me at any moment, but instead chose to toy with me like a curl does a mouse. You... Yeah. you underestimate yourself. Oh, it was crystal clear. Only one man established his dominance that day, and that man was Barnabas. I'm sorry, brother. That was... ill-spoken. It's just... I have never felt so powerless, and when so many are looking to us for strength, perhaps... Uh, perhaps the prince feels the same.
What is this place? <gasps> Don't move. It's fresh from the well. Grandmother told me spirits sometimes get lost, and that the lanterns guide them to their proper place. I set one on the river for her when she passed away. Was it you who guided my hand then, Ultima? No, not you. This is my doing, my fault, my sin to bear. And for it, I must atone. Your hurts are healing nicely. It was my poultices that saw you well. You make them. And sell them, or try to. Earns me enough for bread, most days. Forgive me, I have nothing to- I know, but I couldn't just leave you lying there. <sighs> You're going then? Of course. I'm healed. Thanks to you and your poultices. Will you promise to come back and visit? Phoenix, it would seem that I owe you my wings. Perhaps he can find an answer. You will be returning to Walud soon, I gather. I see no reason to wait. Then neither do I. I can think of a few, but I doubt they'll stop you. You will take your medicine. Of course, Lady Tyre. Set on leaving already, are you? How long will it take us to get back to Ash? Dunno, about the same amount of time it took us to get here. Maybe less, if your uncle can find someone trustworthy to patch up the Enterprise. All depends on where we're putting into port, mind. Yes, it's not as if we can put ashore wherever we choose. We have to assume that the whole of Ash is hostile, and that we'll be attacked on sight. Then we must find a place they won't think to look. And I have an idea who might know of one. The Professor! I'll go and tell you coming! While you're plotting our course, I'll be in the shelves with your lawsmen 
I wish to pick his brains about Ultima. Then I'll talk to Karen about supplies for the journey. They may not be easy to come by in Ash. Your brother's body won't take much more of this recklessness. You know that, don't you? I do. I was wondering when you'd arrive. Please tell me you've come to take our young prodigy here off my hands. I'm not here for Mid. I need information on Ash. Then why not ask Molly if you can look in one of her ovens? <sighs> Go on. As soon as the Enterprise is ready, we'll be setting out for Drake's spine. And we're going to need a safe place to land. Preferably one that won't seem a shit blown to shit and splinters. If it were that easy, do you think Walud would have resisted invasion for so long? Very little is known of Ash, and the information we do have is spotty and outdated. We have the good King Barnabas to thank for that. Walud's borders have been closed to outsiders since the day he seized the throne. If there is anywhere safe to land, you won't find it on my map. Then tell us what we will find. I'm sure you know better than we do. But no splinters! All right, all right, if it will get you out of my hair. But interrupt me, and it's over. Understood? Barnabas Tharm, the one they call the last king. Understand him, and you will understand the kingdom of Walud. Barnabas was only a boy when he arrived from beyond the southern seas, and barely a man before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. And having unleashed them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne upon the ancient kingdom's ruins. The victory sent shockwaves around Valisthea. Tales of Odin's might spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Note that this was in the year 843, and that the king still sits upon his throne some 40 years later, quite untouched by time. Walud's recent inaction left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for war. And yet here we are. The Einherjar was committed to the fray, a bold declaration of intent. Orcs swarm around Drake's Fang, and throngs of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud remains unclear. Regardless, if the order to attack truly came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. Walud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beast men and the ether adult alike. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be in unknown territory when you set foot on Ash. Much of the continent has already been lost to the blight, and what few ports remain will be fiercely guarded. And that is to say naught of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment, and dash it against the rocks the next. But then the Enterprise is anything but ill-equipped. And Mid has made land there before. Now, if only there were someone with an intimate knowledge of the Shadow Coast, and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. You see, Clive, you had the answer all along. Do you think you can get us back to that beach, mid? Picked you up from it, didn't I? Not that it were easy. The currents were right bastard. But then, if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth doing, would it? Well said. Thank you, Lady Vivian. 
If a few morsels of common knowledge and a sprinkling of tavern talk are worthy of your thanks, I wonder what genuine intelligence might earn me. Probably more visits. Mid, I need everyone in the ale hall now. I'll fetch Joshua from the shelves. Aye, aye, Captain. Say so myself. Anything else? I have no reason to assume other. Clive, you must listen to this. Lawsman, tell him. Do you recall when we spoke before on the divinity of Ultima? Well, it inspired me to delve deeper into the subject. And what I discovered appears to agree with the findings of His Grace. You will recall that my quest to uncover Ultima's origins began with the mural at Phoenix Gate. But while I've always known it to be important, its secrets have heretofore eluded me. Now, however, I believe I know where to find a more complete example. One that will reveal all we seek. Master Clive, have you ever in your travels chanced to hear of the Circle of Malleus? I would think not, if you have. But there was once a time when the faith flourished, the oldest known religion in the Twins, and though its popularity eventually waned on storm, hints of its dogma remain embedded in more modern faiths such as the Crystalline Orthodox. Wait, you said it waned on storm? What of Ash? Religious monuments are often torn down or repurposed when new faiths rise to prominence. But if no new faith arose, then perhaps the ancient temples might still stand. And so, you see now why I must accompany you to Walud. It would appear the past still has much to teach us. Though in this case, it would not have been possible without the musings of Moss. <laughs> to think that you carried a copy of my old mentor's chronicles all along. I am relieved to discover it in good hands. I shall guard it with my life. Joshua, if you're finished here, join me in the ale hall. I need to speak to everyone before we leave. Right away. I can ride the Enterprise. My apologies. By now, you've all heard where we're going and why. So I won't bother you with the boring details, only the important ones. If we attempt to approach Stone here by sea, there's a good chance we'll be sighted and fall prey to the capital's artillery. So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for Drake's spine on foot. I say we, but... It's highly likely the entirety of Ash is under the rule of Ultima. A large party would only attract unwanted attention. As well as slow our march, and require supplies which may be difficult to obtain. Only Joshua and I will be going. And a scout. Preferably a good one. Gav, do you know of any? You bet your ass I do. I might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps, though. Just in case, like. Once you've dropped us off at the Shadow Coast, you need to retreat into neutral waters. Fly merchant colors and stay inconspicuous. If you sense any danger at all, you leave us behind and return to Storm. 
Inconspicuous is my middle name. But like hell am I leaving anyone behind. The ship ain't going nowhere till your scurvy mugs are smiling on deck. Jill, the Enterprise will appear a tempting target for Royalists and Pirates alike. You're to stop anyone boarding. Don't worry. I'll keep the ship and her crew safe. You'll be needing passage home, after all. But... Very well. If there are no questions, I'll see you all at the docks. Let me know when you're leaving. I want a word before you go. Of course. man wish his friend farewell. Just wanted to let you know that I'll keep things in order while you're off saving the world. I'll hold you to that. Reckon it'll be a long walk to the capital if we follow the cliffs. I'll scout ahead, see if I can't find us an inland route. Clive. Mm -hmm. There's something I've been meaning to ask. You took her icon, didn't you? Yes, I did. She understood. Oh, she understood. Understood that you decided to save the world all on your own, and that you'd die without her power. How dare you make her choose? You knew damn well she'd never refuse you. But I will. You can't keep pushing us away, Clive. The world is ours to save, not yours. I used my gift because I thought it was the right thing to do. And you truly believe this will save you? Will save us all? I do. Then so be it. Just don't forget, you're not alone. <sighs> Think I found us a trail? Uh, did I miss something? Only that Joshua didn't. I don't get it.
Always wanted to visit Ash. We're in Waluda territory now. Don't expect a warm welcome. Oh, I don't know, Clive. That castle over there looks inviting enough. Shall we sample its inhabitants' hospitality? Remember what I said about warm welcomes, Gav. Oh, this place is as dead as Grieger's ghost. Something. I see only orcs and the cache here. Let's hope the villagers made it out in time.